Here we have a 2023 Ford Maverick. This one comes in the XLT trim level with a luxury package. Iconic silver metallic is the paint. And then we have black onyx cloth interior. And our powertrain is gonna consist of a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. And that gives us 250 horsepower, 277 pound feet of torque. Coming around to the front end here, we have a few aftermarket upgrades, but we have our standard LED headlamps. We have a little bug deflector here that actually came from Ford. And then down here we have 18 inch wheels. Love the look of these. We have these HD rides, running boards. And then power door lock controls here. We have power windows with one touch down express for the driver's side. And then the power mirror controls here, which we can toggle on and off and then adjust there. And then we also have a rear window lock. A little storage in here. Headlamp controls are there. There are the autos. That's off. It's all the way on. Gauge cluster brightness. Bed lamp controls there. And then we have our tilt telescope knob there. And here we have our power driver seat with two-way power lumbar support, which is a great touch in my opinion. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being six foot three with longer legs. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the rear leg room. So not the best leg room, but this is a very small pickup truck. So for this to be in the segment it's in, not bad. And I definitely still have a couple inches of headroom. So that's good. Seat back pockets only on the passenger side. Then we have a USB-C, USB-A duo there, and then a 120 volt three prong household plug in here. And our middle seat does fold down. And then we have cup holders there. The grab handle there. And then we have the hanger hook, probably hang two, three hangers there. Let's go ahead and make our way to the back. And while we're doing that, I wanna give a huge shout out to Auto Collection of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this truck today. I'll leave a link below to it as well as their entire inventory in the description below. And they usually have some pretty cool stuff. But I was also testing out the sound system while I was kind of going through the truck and it actually sounds super good for it not to be a B&O system, really in your face. I think it's just how the speakers are set up though, but pretty awesome. This one does have the spray and bed liner. And then we do have another 120 volt back here. I think Linex did this bed liner here and they always do a pretty good job. The toe hits there, spares underneath there. And then coming around to the rear passenger side, we can fold the seat up By pulling that, and we have a whole storage pocket there. You gotta give it quite a tug. And it likes to eat stuff up apparently, but nice to have that additional storage. And it's a pretty good size as well. And then here we have our six-way manual front passenger seat. And then glove compartment's a pretty good size and the owner's manuals are still in this one. And please excuse me this morning. As spring is starting to take hold, my allergies have been super bad. So if I sound a little nasally or sniff a little bit, that's why. But we have the two-time pull here, which I love because then you don't have to try and find the latch. Just lift up. But there's that two liter EcoBoost engine. Now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So I like that we get this, feels like ActiveX wrapped steering wheel here, feels super nice. And these tend not to wear as easily as real leather. So I like that they did that. But over here to the radio, we do get our AM, FM, as well as Bluetooth audio. And then we have wired CarPlay compatibility. 
and all of our settings are gonna be in here. We also have the Wi-Fi hotspot. The general settings are here. If you wanna change your temperature units, right in there, as well as the language. And then sound, you can adjust your mid-range treble bass there. And then you can even adjust the clock and then your vehicle settings right in there. So with this being kind of a basic truck, not a lot of settings, which is good. It's pretty easy to do everything on here. And then we have our backup camera there. Guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. And then an interesting storage pocket there. And then you can mute by hitting that button there. It cuts the audio off. And then you can go to your sound settings. Quick shortcut there. Hazards are here. Then you can turn the screen off there. Then you have a tune knob here. Now down here, we do have single zone automatic climate controls, which is pretty neat. I like having the three stages for the automatic climate. So if you want to have it cool or heat the cabin quickly, go to high, kind of mid range, hit that medium. And then if you just don't care how long it takes, hit that low. And then that'll keep the fans from blowing you all over the place. But we have our heated mirror toggle here, and then we have our front defroster for the windshield, and then we can control what direction the airflow is going to, whether it's our feet, face, and then we can set the max AC here, toggle the AC on and off, and then we can adjust the temperature here and cut the whole system off there. Now this one does have the heated steering wheel as well as the three-stage heated seats, which I highly recommend. We have a USB-C, USB-A port there. That's what you can run your car play on, 12 volts. Tons of storage down in here, which I like. And then for the shifter, Reverse, neutral, drive, and then you can hit that low gear if you ever need that. And then the electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, hit the brake, press down to disengage. And then down here we have our automatic brake hold toggle, auto stop, we can turn that off. And then we have our traction control button there. And then we can go through our drive modes here, whether that's tow haul, slippery, eco, sport, or normal. And I actually like how much storage there is in such a small truck. Cup holders are here, storage pockets throughout. Center console cubby space is pretty deep. And there's a view of the back seat from up here. Sunglasses holder. Then we do get the premium dome lights. But to the steering wheel, blinkers are here. Then high beams are there, you can turn them on and off. And then you can flash here. Windshield wiper controls one time and you have your intermittent low high then you can adjust your intermittent here then you can pull up here for the front wiper fluid and then to the steering wheel cruise control toggle that on and off here then you can adjust speed and cancel then volume controls here mute button and then we have voice recognition bluetooth controls that also serve as track lists or radio station presets we can scroll through those and then all these buttons up here are going to be for your digital menu in the middle of the gauge cluster you can go through all of your settings audio you can even set up favorites and you go into the actual settings here and you can adjust your driver assistance so tons of stuff to go through but we have our key fob there it's a turnkey in this one but now it's time to go ahead and take this 2023 Maverick with the two liter turbo out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this Maverick, I've driven a hybrid, but this is my first time actually getting behind the wheel of a two liter turbo. And I will say this one feels much more peppy than the hybrid, but I just like the driving dynamics a little bit more because I'm kind of, I drive an EV and I like the efficiency of hybrids. And the Maverick actually does a super, it does a fantastic job, honestly, at being a hybrid pickup truck, getting that kind of fuel economy, being as, I guess being as much of a, a workhorse as it is. Now it's not an F-150, but it is something that you can tow lightly with, you can haul lightly with, and you're getting 40 miles per gallon. And it's much easier to drive than a full-size truck. Now, most of today's full-size pickups are pretty comfortable. They drive pretty nicely, so on and so forth. But 
this just drives like a Ford Escape as opposed to an F-150. So if you're one of those people that is looking for something like that, definitely the way to go. But I do like the power that you get from the EcoBoost. You're not feeling as much front end torque as you do in the hybrid because you do have that electric motor, but we're gonna see how powerful this thing really is. I'm gonna put my foot into it as I get on the interstate here. And it does pull quite nicely. And I do like having the, the blind spot mirrors. You don't get the monitors, but it's so great to have those mirrors there to really help when you're merging without having to turn your head all the way. But the ride quality is pretty good. Again, for this to be a pickup truck, although it is small, it's the ride is great. And surprisingly quiet in the cabin. And this one does have the, the window deflectors on it. And still, not too much sound getting in here, so impressed by that. And as these start to settle out after the the car market did its crazy thing, everything's starting to settle down a little bit more. This is starting to become more and more of a bargain for what you get. And then we also have auto stop here as well. And there it is there. So again, what makes this a great choice in my opinion is, let's say you're retiring or if you're used to driving a car for work, if you're used to maybe having a RAV4 or a Ford Escape, an Equinox, things of that nature, but you need a truck bed because you're gonna start planting and you really haven't had an option that doesn't get 12, 15 miles per gallon, this is great, especially if you go with the hybrid powertrain because if you don't care about the power, you just want something that gets you from A to B and you drive slow, it's the perfect truck because I have a 2004 Tundra doesn't matter how I baby that thing in terms of throttle response I'm still getting 14 miles per gallon on a good day so to be able to get 30 even lower 40s with a hybrid it's just it's fantastic and you don't have to worry about driving such a big truck it's still about as capable as any other full size truck in terms of light hauling so if you need to take your recycling off to the dump or whatever pretty easy to throw a few cans in the back and then if you need to put, uh, pick up some plants and you don't want dirt all over the the trunk space you have that bed as well and with this one having the bed liner makes it even more capable so you're not worried about scratching up the bed as you maybe haul heavier stuff maybe a few weights or whatever But after driving this two liter turbo, I definitely think it drives more smoothly than the hybrid. But again, me personally, I would take that efficiency over the power you get out of this truck, having the eight speed automatic as opposed to the CVT, but that's just me. But with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2023 Ford Maverick XLT.